Okay, I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and this video picks up where the previous one left off. All right, here's the plan. Uh, I'll fish another hour at most. I see all these, you know, current tides up kind of high. Not quite high yet. A lot of this um, vegetation overhanging here. So I'm gonna focus on that, try to get in there. I'm gonna focus going in tight. Hopefully, you know, if I can get a snook, that would give me a slam. And oh boy, I have done, I think I've got like 11 reds, a couple really nice ones, three trout. Come on, just one snook. But uh, if I catch nothing on this next hour, it was still really an unbelievable trip. Okay, just as a little review, uh, I had gone to a completely new spot this trip and done very well with uh, redfish and trout, all in the same offering. It's a 5-inch gulp jerk shad rigged on a 1 16th ounce owner swim bait hook. And you know, sometimes it's hard to figure out exactly where to place that hook. Uh, you know, if I don't get it right the first time, let's try again. Um, and it should look something like this, get it on there nice and straight, and it's uh, good to go. So I've made a substantial move from where I have been fishing um, the rest of the trip, and uh, I'm just checking out another spot. Only one I'm fishing. Ooh, this is the nicest one of the day. Glad I didn't take that call. Ah, that's a really good one. Hmm. Wow, some power on these things. People who understand redfish know I went for the net a little early here, didn't I? Mm. Oh. I'm just gonna push myself out here a little bit. Boy, these are nice looking fish. Um, I notice they have different numbers of spots. So this is this guy's got one spot. Some have two. Some have three. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's the best one I've I've caught so far. Um, it's just a beauty. All right, so I took a wide swing with the kayak, went right back on the same spot. Um, gonna try it again. Oh yeah, right on that. Spot there. Oh, another nice one. Jeez. Just 
just going to try and back out of this so I don't really screw the spot up. This would be really hard to do without being able to put that kayak in reverse and, and keep off the, the mangroves, keep off the spot. Um, uh. yeah. So amazing. That fish was exactly where that other big one was. Uh, and I think it really helped to be able to stay off of it with the kayak um, when I hooked up to be able to push out. Um, didn't spook what else was there. So hey, I I'm going to just run the same play again, make a big loop around, um, hit that same spot. So a few people have asked me about what's on my feet there. Those are Frog Togs Aransas wading shoes. What's really nice is that they've got soles that will withstand um, walking on the oysters. So that's really important for this fishing. But yeah, I got a bunch of Frog Tog stuff that I'm uh, really happy with. Oh, there he is. Could be a snook.
So when you cast for summer flounder, or fluke as they're called up north, um, when you're casting for them in this kind of situation or from a beach, a lot of times the hits feel like slack. Well, that's what's going to happen here. They're fish. Well, oh, I felt was slack. I felt like the the bait had come off. So it looked to me that this fish was hooked deep. Um, so I'm, I'm going for my pliers here. Yeah, I should have had those out, uh, easier to get at. Uh, as it turns out, the, the, the fish isn't hooked bad at all. And I'll be able to get that hook out without any damage. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it looks. It's not bad at all. Okay, I've got a dolphin headed right for me, and uh, this is going to get interesting. Ah, oh, come on. What are you doing? Uh-oh. So obviously this is not something I'm used to have happen. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and throw this guy really close to shore so this dolphin doesn't go eating him. I don't know if that's gonna work. I just don't know what the options are here. I know, he's just waiting for me to let it go. Maybe if I can let him go really close. I need to hit the brakes here. I'm gonna give him a chance to maybe get in by this tree. Oh, stupid thing went straight out.
All right, well, that didn't play out the way I had hoped. I was hoping that thing, that uh, trout that I released would just go right to the mangroves. Instead, it went straight out. I can only guess that the dolphin ate it. Those are very smart, powerful, fast animals. Um, yeah. Well, dolphin left. I've gone right back to where I caught those two redfish. All right, that one was about 100 feet off the uh, spot where I had the other two big ones, but wow. Uh, hey, and you know what? I went back three subsequent trips to this spot for a grand total of one trout. So yeah, these fish move around a lot, but no, that's part of my learning experience. And uh, all right, so I, I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you like this channel, please subscribe.